Hey everybody, cheers. Happy Mimosa Monday. Cheers. Cheers. Lisa, thank you so much for coming on the show with us today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. So this is Lisa Famaletti from Rochester Media Association. Hey y'all. And Lisa and I are so excited. We are bringing a second screening of the Embrace documentary to Rochester. We're going to be back here at The Little, which is where we are right now. Thanks for letting us in, Little. Um, <laughs> and we just wanted to kind of give you guys a heads up about the film. I know I've been posting about it on Facebook and emailing a lot of you guys individually, but um, I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what you can expect and why you should come see the film. So, um, Lisa, why don't you just give us like a brief overview of what the film is about? So, The View is really about this woman from Australia. Her name is Taryn. Um, she was not happy with her body after having two kids. And she decided to go for her ideal perfect image of the perfect body. So she worked out, got really fit, entered a couple of body competitions, and then she realized she wasn't happy. Mm -hmm. So then she posted a before and after photo, and the before photo was her and her building competitions, and the after photo was her just being normal and having a normal life. And a huge uproar came about on social media. Yep. Some positive feedback, some not positive feedback. And she really wanted to discover why people um, do and don't like their bodies and yeah. find out kind of this is not like a, this is a global epidemic like this is not one place this is a global thing that's going on and it seems like it's mostly women not to put men down but it seems like mostly women are really affected by the images that we see and uh, how we feel about ourselves so yeah it's a powerful documentary it really is and as a photographer that specifically photographs women particularly with my boudoir work um, as soon as I heard about this documentary I, I had so many emotions but the prevailing one for me was like thank goodness mm -hmm. someone else made this mm -hmm. basically so that I didn't have to um, because there, I'm so aware of the, the epidemic, is, I believe, is not an overstatement of the issue. Um, and I see all of these beautiful women coming into my studio regularly that I, you know, you would see a woman that, you know, any woman that walks in my studio, you look at her on the street and think, right, wow, she's perfect, she's gorgeous, she must have, like, no image issues, and, like, she must feel, you know, beautiful every day. And I would see that woman come into my studio, and then I would hear the things that she said to me. Um, which were, you know, oh my gosh, like I have cellulite, I hate my thighs, I, my nose is too big, um, you know, I'm fat and whatever. And I'm sitting here thinking, oh my God, this woman is stunning. Right. What happened to her? You know, what, what message has she been given by the media and, you know, by our community at large that makes her feel that way? So I've been, you know, for five years kind of examining this issue on my own. Mm -hmm. And I love that there's a documentary that I can share with so many women and men um, in my life now that's in Rochester that, you know, especially at the screening, that we can bring this issue out into the light and we can talk about it. Because I think that once women are able to share this sentiment and really come together and at least address it as a community, I think that we have so much, we have a better chance at fighting these negative messages yeah. and, you know, redefining things how, how we want them to be. Yeah, and that first screening was very powerful. We had a really intense and awesome conversation afterwards. Yeah. And I'm hoping that this second screening will only continue that. Yeah. And it's very powerful watching this documentary. It's great watching it on your own, but watching it in a room full of people and hearing people, as I told you, like laugh together, cry together. Yeah, there are a lot of people crying, you yeah. know. And I thought it was great that my mom turned to me afterwards and she was just like, Wow, that was amazing. I feel like for my mom to say that, that's like a that's like a tough nut to crack right Go there. Go mama. Yeah, so my mom was my mom was impressed by it. So yeah. it's a good doc and everybody should come out. Um, it's gonna be on June 9th here at the Little Theater. Yep. Um, but get your tickets now while you can. Yep. Um, there are, if you're on Facebook right now, we have a Facebook event going where you can get the tickets now and they're $11. And yep. I'm gonna share the link here in the comments. Um, the last event did sell out. We also expect this one to. But uh, make sure that you guys get your tickets as soon as possible yes. so that you don't miss out on this opportunity. Yes. I'm going to post the link. Um, it's great to plan ahead. And invite <laughs> your girlfriends. And invite your boyfriend or your guy friends. I, I think it's also, you know, it isn't just a chick flick. This is certainly an issue that affects all yes. of us. Whether or not yes. you are a woman, you have women in your life that you love. And um, it's just really nice to be able to um, empathize and support your woman a little bit better, fully understanding the issue. So um, I think that if you if you have if you are a woman or you have a woman that you love, you guys should come to this um, this documentary and enjoy. We are having a panel discussion after the film, and um, Natalie's on it. I'm a panelist. 
and um, we have Joan Lincoln that's going to be a panelist. We're so excited to have Joan, and I saw that we just secured a third panelist as well. Yes, Lindsay's going to be on our panel as well, and Lindsay dealt with uh, anorexia when she was a student at Syracuse University, and she wrote a book about it, so she's going to be really great, and then Nikki Rudd is going to be our moderator for this one, so awesome. it's going to be really, really great. Oh, I'm so excited to, um, to share that panel discussion with everyone and uh, get, get you guys involved in the conversation as well. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to post them. Um, is there anything else you want to share? I just hope you guys come. Yeah, come it's gonna be see a great it. time. It's going to be such a great event. There, there will be lots of mimosas if we need to. And hey. Everybody will have a great time. Alcohol, popcorn, women. What more do you need, guys? Come on. Know, <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on today. Thank you. Lisa. It was great seeing you guys. Thank you too. Cheers and um, happy mimosa, everyone. Everyone, have a great week, and um, hopefully, we'll see you at the screening. This is good. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Bye, guys.